Uh, hi folks, in this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to use a thing called cross table. Um, I don't know much about it myself at the moment, but I do uh, I do know the um, some of the benefits. So I'm just going to click OK here. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to I'm within the edit script. So once you uh, press Control and E within your click view file, table files, I downloaded the thing from Gapminder, and this is uh, income per capita by population so I'm just gonna double click this choose embedded labels and click finish now if we scroll up you can see just a directory and we're loading income per person with projections so I'm just gonna so actually I'm gonna reload that I'm gonna call it test one two So you can see we have all these available fields now, but we don't want those available fields. I mean, we want to convert them into one column of called year. So we're just going to click OK. If we go into Control and E again, just after the directory, I'm going to say cross table. I'm going to open a bracket and I'm going to say year, comma, data. Basically what that means is Instead of having the 1800, all these different years scrolling all the way down to up until uh, 2012, I'm going to reload it basically using the cross table to give the year and the date within that year instead of having all of the, the columns. So if I click reload, you can see now that we have, instead of having Instead of having a column for each year, we have only three columns to choose from. So we're choosing, don't mind this income year, income per year, I can change that to country, but year and the data per year. So 1801, that's the date at all in 1801, 1805, where as you can see before, it was given us every year was would have been a new list box. So I hope a cross table helps. Don't know how much is going to help right now, but um, it will help you at some stage. So, all the best, and I hope that helps.